Yo, Rumors here. Hope you're doing good. We're going to look at 96 rated premium footies Kaidu Koulibaly. He's 6 feet 2 inches tall with a unique body type. He's got medium high work rates. He's right footed with a 5 star weak foot and 2 star skill moves. His SPC is coming in at around 150k. 2 squads, an 87 rated one and an 83 rated one. Seems like decent value, especially because he is premium. And if you want more reviews on the latest players, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. So you can play centre back and centre back only his club Al Hilal he's got the Saudi league links and the Senegalese links I've slapped a shadow on him which makes him the lengthy accelerate type his acceleration 94 sprint speed 99 being lengthy should be really fast his shooting rubbish except for randomly he's got 85 shot power his short passing 90 long passing 85 that's good enough for a centre back I think his agility and balance are low but don't worry about that reactions 99 with 99 composure as well those stats are brilliant ball control 86 dribbling 83 should be okay his defending almost maxed out except for 96 heading accuracy but he's got 97 jumping as well some excellent stats there with 90 stamina that's high for a centre back he's got 99 strength and 98 aggression some crazy physicals He's got the power header and giant throwing traits. I'll be playing him, guess where? In the centre back position, in a 4 2 3 narrow in this team. I'll leave a video with the custom tax I'm using in the description. I made that one yesterday. But yeah, let's see how he plays. Decent long ball by Kule Bali. I'm not getting tested too much on Kule Bali's side, unfortunately. <laughs> Good pass. That was quite agile. As you can see, he's quick. Unlucky with the pass. Yeah, it's all coming to Tomori. I'm just going to have to try and score with Koulibaly. Koulibaly. Top right corner. We actually score with our centre back for once. <laughs> His shooting stats are garbage as well. How did he do that? <laughs> Kula Bali got taken out there. It's a penalty. He won the penalty. I'm putting him on it. Top right corner. What are we saying? Yes, Kula Bali with his second. <laughs> I'm going for a hat trick. I don't care. I'm sorry. He's not attacking me enough. Referee, call the police. What was that about? Go, go, go. Go, go, go. Ah, Virgil. Kula Bali. Finesse. Oh, just wide. So close to the hat trick. Hey, disconnect. Oh, he's left. And he's gone. What a goal by Kula Bali. Honestly, nobody's troubling me defensively, so I'm just having to run forward with him to get some clips at the moment. Oh, what a long leg out there by Kula Bali. Damn. Put him under a bit of pressure there. Got beaten by Ollie Watkins there, but the shot's wide. That is excellent defending on Harry Kane. Had the pace and power to hold him off. And now passing it through. Kane. And lining it up. Got a really smooth jockey and did well there again. Kula Bali up against Kane again. Again, he's got the pace to deal with him. Kane's no slouch. Nice long ball there, Kula Bali. Oh, he came back really well there, even though Kane's offside. Kula Bali racing back here. Oh, what? Why are you going flying, bro? Oh, he came back really well, though. He made up for it. I thought Sterling was going to body him. And he's on a run. It's Kula Bali in. Oh, he slowed down a bit. Go, go, go. Bomb left. Yes, we get another goal with Kula Valley. After defending, at least I've got some defensive work in there. <laughs> I kind of let him run through just because I wanted to see what Kula Valley could do. He couldn't make up that pace. Bruh. And we've conceded. 
Good play there, Koulibaly. Unlucky with the pass. They panic. Great block there. I committed with him. Good pass away as well. Oh my goodness. That's a crazy goal with Alexander-Arnold. I know it's not his review, but I'm putting that in. Sorry. <laughs> Great tackle. Good leg out. Great interception. That's brilliant positioning there by Kula Bali. This guy has given up. It's Kula Bali. Oh my gosh. He scored harder goals than that. <laughs> uh, one last run with Kula Bali. It's the end of the game. Can he score again? Left foot. Bottom right hand corner. Kula Bali. Stick him up top. <laughs> Great interception there. Oh, I tried to put him under pressure, but it wasn't enough. Oh, Kula Bali, brilliant. I was just about to say he's not as automatic as I thought he was going to be. But then look at that. <laughs> Kula Bali, you got to do better there. That's a lovely pass out to the right. His jockeying is extremely smooth, I have to say. Like, he moves very well. Great block there, made himself big. Well defended there against 99 Pele. Great interception. Handed to him there. Excellent play. Koulibaly in the build-up. Great tackle. Important. Oh, Koulibaly should have blocked that. It all went through him. Great interception. Nice pass. Kula Bali couldn't get back and we go 6-4 down, probably game over to be honest. Great tackle. Really important there. Poor pass away by me. Great tackle there. <laughs> he did really well there again. In the right place at the right time there, but it's too late. So after three games, we got five goals and no assists. Don't ask me how. And if you enjoyed the video at all, please give it a like. It would be greatly appreciated. But what do you think of Kula Bali? Do I recommend this SBC? Yes, I really like that he's premium. What I will say is that I thought he was going to be a bit more dominant. I'm used to playing with centre-backs now like Oniwachu, who's 10 feet 5 inches tall. Kula Bali seems small to him, honestly, it's weird. Don't get me wrong, he's a beast, but yeah, I'm just used to the massive defenders now. Milinkovic Savage has messed everything up. He is a giant. I'm gonna go through the pros of Kula Bali though. His pace, being lengthy with the shadow, he's very fast. What I will say is he's not Superman. If a player's in behind him, he's not catching them. I let a couple players go behind a bit. And yeah, he wasn't catching them. So just position him correctly and he'll be fine. He definitely has enough pace. His defending, really good. Positioning, tackles, all of that stuff. He's really good defensively. There were a couple of occasions where I went for a block and the ball just went through him. Wasn't happy with that, but on the whole, defensively, he's really good. His physicals, yeah, he's good physically. Obviously, he's got amazing stats. Maybe he doesn't feel like 99 strength and all of that but definitely good physically don't get me wrong his passing up an asterisk there it's not amazing but it's definitely good enough i think it's made a lot better with that five star weak foot it gives you confidence on the right or the left foot his dribbling asterisk there again for a defender is pretty good a center back and he's premium really like that he'll be a really good link to that ronaldo card by the way cons there's no real cons of this card i just thought it was going to be a bit more dominant big and strong than that but he's still a great center back Overall, 9.25 out of 10. 
yeah, just those blocks I wanted him to do. And there was a couple of occasions I thought he should have won the ball where he didn't. Value for coins though, 10 out of 10. Two squads, about 160k. I think it's really good value. 96 rated card with those stats. Premium, five star weak foot. You can't complain if you try him out. Let me know what you think of him in the comment section. I'll leave a similar video down there. Make sure you watch that. It's been your boy, Roomrix. Take care.